Hello, hello everyone, or do I have a fun video for you today? As you can probably see through the stack of photo cards in my hand, but not guess, I have 76 photo cards to put away for you today. Now, the weather is kind of weird, so I'm kind of in an in-between mood for whether or not I should turn on my desk lamp because turning it on kind of casts a weird glare onto the pages themselves. So I guess that's something that we'll find out together. But these photo cards have been popping up in my monthly open mail with me videos, except I noticed that some of my latest files have been corrupted. So I'm not sure when this video will go up, but a lot of the photo cards here, or all the photo cards here, were collected throughout August and September. But some of the photo cards may not show up in the September um, open mail with me haul just because for some reason those videos stopped working but this is exciting I have no idea how I managed to accumulate 76 in the span of two months like I don't think that this is a majority of buying actually I take that back that's a lie I think the bulk of the NCT dream ones were purchased outright from me for those pre-order benefits and then a lot of it was also trading for other members' cards, but for all the other groups, I think namely SF9, Pentagon, CIX, and NCT127, I think a lot of those are traded, so I didn't go too spend happy in the past couple of months, especially because I, <laughs> I was supposed to be going on a buying hiatus, but that is neither here nor there. Let's just once again look at this little stack and as I'm sitting here I am thinking about how to set up my thumbnail later because I noticed that my thumbnail game is lacking. But that is fine, let me pull out the first binder and actually let me show you the stack again because I hope I never have a stack as big as this to put away and this is only in the span of two months. But um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go in order by the groups I have here. I definitely know the NCT Dream is at the very end because they're the biggest collection that I have to add to today. So first up, we have my Pentagon collection and I am going to pull out that binder. So this right here is my Pentagon binder. I very recently made the decision to put it all into a 2 inch binder. Mostly because I decided that I don't really look through my large inclusions binder just because it's not as important to me as the photo card aspect. And if I'm not going to look through it, I wasn't going to appreciate it as much. So I decided to throw them all into one binder here. So hopefully it forces me to look at my large inclusions when I can. So it is getting subsequently darker as I film this video, so unfortunately the desk lamp will turn on and you will be getting that glare. So, actually, let me move the camera. Maybe moving the camera away from the glare will be better, kind of. Okay, it sort of works. I'm going to sit back down because my neck is going to complain after maybe 10 minutes of me standing over and talking to the camera. So of this giant stack, which I'll just keep in the corner here, we have two Pentagon photo cards. Technically one of these, uh, well I'm not actually putting this one away, this one I actually pulled out of my binder to make space for this positive Kino over here. And this positive Kino was a purchase, but this purchase actually fully completes my Kino collection, actually. Okay, well, it's too dark, but I think I'm just going to try to hold up my binder when I can, just so you can get the full, unfiltered glory of my photocard collection, which, if I do say so myself, makes me incredibly happy. So this Kino will go here, and this finishes up my Kino album collection in a way that makes me happy. Okay, I fixed the lighting. We should be good now. But yes, I technically am not fully done with Kino's collection. I'm missing his two of the Black Hall pre-order benefits, but I'm not getting those because those are still member price to this day, and I'm not joining that rat race for 
Kino photo cards. Now I am left with an extra Shin 1 positive, and I have actually been thinking about maybe fully completing Shin 1 or Hong Sok because I am only three photo cards away from fully completing Hong Sok and then six photo cards away from completing Shin 1. So it is technically not fully worth it for me to go after Shin 1 at this point. But I don't know. Technically, Hong Sok was my second bias after Yo Won, but something flipped in my mind and then I decided to double bias Shin Won and Hong Sok. So I do still have a lot of Hong Sok's older cards. I'm not going to be trading them for Shin Won's just because Hong Sok actually has, unironically, my favorite Pentagon photo cards. Like, these two are so gorgeous. So I'm not in a mood to trade, but that also means I'm kind of forced to buy outright, which I'm also not willing to do right now. But that is okay. I can take this collection slow and it's, I don't know, Pentagon's future is kind of weird right now. I don't know when this video will go up, but who knows, maybe Pentagon photo cards will suddenly go up or down in price depending on whether or not they continue as a group. So on to the next part of my binder, which is SF9, who I will also have more things to talk about. My SF9 binder is also in a 2-inch binder now, and my uh, N-Flying collection is also in this binder. But I was thinking that my next big video after this one and my sorting mail video, and maybe a, what's it called? A binder collect- not binder, a album collection tour, again, because I just changed up my albums. I'm probably going to be downsizing again, so this may not be home to my FNC boys much longer. Just because I'm not going to continue collecting, uh, and flying. I didn't really collect and flying fully in any sort of capacity, but even the albums that I do have of theirs, I'm not planning on keeping. So I have been making some work on my collection here. Hold on, I don't know why I'm faltering. Uh, yes, okay, so, sorry. I have blanked out for some reason. I thought I purchased more cards than I actually did, hence my hesitation. But I have five SF9 cards here, ready to go. And here is one for Hui Young. I am so excited to be finished. Not finished yet. I don't know what's going on. Am I missing? Yes, actually. I do have a, another set of Taeyang photo cards coming in, so that is coming up soon. Um, what was I saying? Yes, so Huyang was part of the haul that I couldn't film correctly, so you may not have seen this, but I have some Huyang photo cards over here. I got them for decently cheap, I would say. Uh, each photo card, I think, ended up being less than four US dollars each, even after shipping. So I am making some good headway on this collection. And then for, what is this? RPM? This should be RPM. Correct. So for RPM, I am one photo card away from finishing completely, so I am just missing Zuho's blonde, and I do think that that was one of his best errors for his looks, so that I have much excitement for if and when I do eventually find it. And for my first collection photo card, I am just missing these Taeyang photo cards. But I do have them coming in, so that is very exciting. And I do tend to just have this random in-song rumination that my friend gifted me. So this will be going, I guess, in here for now. I guess this will be my spillover for extra SF9 photo cards that I don't want to get rid of. But SF9 is, I don't know. I made a joke about this and my friend wasn't too happy, but SF9, I guess, is now 8 members plus 1 fandom equals SF9 because Rowan left. And I don't really have much thoughts on it, unfortunately. 
I he was my second bias and then everything went down so I guess I'm just happy that he made a decision and is able to now continue his own career at his pace instead of at the pace that everyone else expected him to go for and I don't know maybe that sounds a little cold but it's been two years of a lot of uh, hesitation from fantasy and it was weird I don't know I don't know what to say I'm more happy that Insong is back than sad about her own leaving, which I guess is a interesting perspective, but it's not like he's dying, it's not like he's leaving the industry, he's still around, he's just not going to be making music with SF9, and if that's his own pace, then fine, he's, he, he's an adult, like he's allowed to want a different career for himself after a while, and I'm not going to fault him for that, as long as he's happy, I'm happy, and I hope that's a mature take. I have been in K-pop for a long time, so I'm kind of jaded when it comes to things like this, but I really still love him as a person, and I know he's going to go far regardless, and I just want him to be happy with the way that things are going. He recently released an interview with someone, and it just, I don't know, it was super distressing to hear how he was talking about how stressed out he was, and how he didn't have a lot of hope or anticipation for the future, and I just hope he's able to stop feeling like that, because I think he deserves it. But up next, uh, technically I do have these ATS photo cards, but we are skipping those because I guess I didn't flip that part of my binder yet. But we will finally be adding <gasps> to my infinite con connection collection after how many years? I don't know. I technically bought those, uh... I bought his uh, single, I think sometime early last year or this year. I don't remember. I might sell that, so that's neither here nor there. But I have... What is this? I have 10 photo cards to put away for Infinite My Loves. I have been incredibly busy recently when it comes to watching K-pop content. So I've honestly... I honestly haven't been watching any K-pop content. I am behind for mostly everyone at this point. Like, it's not just Infinite who I haven't watched anything of. I haven't watched any NCT, any SF9, any Pentagon. So it's kind of like, well, you know, same situation for everyone. But I know they're happy. I know they've been thriving. They've been performing at sold out concerts for a while and I think just right now they're done with everything and they're all back to being the solo artists they technically are. But I've just been really happy to see them happy. They've all been posting so much on social media and they're really just the best group for me to follow and for me to meet when I was so much younger. My formative K-pop years really were spent with Infinite and I feel like it shaped me as a person. I won't be able to tell you how they've shaped me, but I know that I've definitely taken some inspiration from them as people. And right now I'm just putting away my Sung Jung Spoka photo cards. This page here is also kind of my spillover page for infinite photo cards. I don't really fit in any other set. As you can see, I have these star cards, Dongwoo solo, Sungyu solo, and Sungyu solo. Now I guess this is my solo page. And then I'm pretty sure... Did I not put up another page? That's fine. Okay, so I'm not going to grab a brand new page because I'm not sure how I'm going to fill this out yet. But I am going to be sorting away some of my, what is this, begin again photo cards. Yes, so I have been thinking about how I want to take this collection. 
I haven't decided... Oops, sorry, that's a pre-order benefit, I believe. I haven't decided if I want to fully collect them or not. I haven't really seen many of their album photo cards on the secondhand market here in the US and I have been shopping on Mercari Japan for a little bit. Even then I haven't really seen anything that's decently cheap. And because I haven't really been being I haven't been paying attention to them collecting wise, I don't know what's a pre-order benefit and what's an album card. So I don't want to spend any money just yet. But I'm thinking because I already have a set of pre-order benefits and one Sunyol album card here, which I pulled luckily. My other pull was Sungyu, which I think I'm going to try to trade away. I may or may not try to complete a set, and by complete I don't mean like fully get all four cards per member. I don't remember how many photo cards each member came with, but I remember like you needed to buy more than one album to complete their set, which I wasn't too happy with. But I think for the sake of this page, I'm going to get one more Wuhan photo card, one more Sungyo photo card, and two more Sungjong photo cards for the sake of cohesiveness. And yes, I am probably going to put this in a separate page soon. I'm just too lazy to pull anything out. I think I'm going to start reshuffling my pages as well when it comes to me downsizing. So I have that to look forward to because that'll free up some space. Up next, we have my 80s collection. And I only have two photo cards to put away here. The Songhua on the left was a gift, and the Seo Sang, or I guess even more on the left, was a trade. So these will be going here. This is not the right era. I usually put my 80s photo cards in a smaller collect book, but I do not have space in there actually. And when I downsize, unfortunately, ATs is going to be one of the groups to go first. So we can see how I try to reorganize everything after that. So here we have the final destination for my photo cards today. I don't remember how many I put away. I think I definitely put away less than like, I don't know, 20 photo cards by now. So that means I probably have at least 50 photo cards in my hand right here. And as you can guess, these are all going to be CIX and NCT photo cards. So I did actually make some changes to my CIX collection. I didn't downsize any yet, but as, I th as you can see, in order to free up some more pages for my NCT collection, which is growing at an alarming rate, I had decided to start st storing I don't know what's wrong with me today. I decided to start storing my CIX photo cards back to back, so there are technically two photo cards in one sleeve. This means I can't really see what the back of the photo card looks like, so sometimes I may be surprised or not know what era it is. But other than that, I think it works out well for me. I don't have any weird blank spaces like, um... I won't have any weird blank spaces like this spot here. Actually, I think I'm going to be using this. Okay, like this spot here. So I did complete my save me, kill me, wrong album. I did complete my, what is this? Okay not? Yes, I completed my okay not photo cards. I can read the back, I'm pretty sure, and it'll tell me. Yes, I completed my OK Not photo card collection. I'm not completing everyone's photo card, I'm just completing one set of albums. I don't remember which version this was, but I have it complete here, and I should actually just put this into the same sleeve as the Sunghoon that it's already sharing a sleeve, a space with. And hopefully the different edges don't make this weird in the page, but here we have it. I spent a long time looking for a trade for this, but then I decided to just sell the extra, I think, I think I had an extra Sunghoon photo card that I just ended up selling. 
So with that money, I just used it to buy this Jin Young, and the person charged me a lot for shipping, even though they apparently lived in the same state as me, so whatever. Up next, I have my Save Me, Kill Me albums. Now I am going to try to match them up to the correct album version, and then I know two of these photo cards are similar. Yes, right there. So here is my complete Sunghoon collection. Again, I'm surprised they didn't do jewel cases this time. I'm wondering if maybe they didn't sell too well, or if fans didn't like them, or either way, for whatever reason, I am glad they did not do a jewel case this time, because I think jewel cases are incredibly boring and lazy, and it's mostly why I don't collect Japanese releases, aside from Pentagon. And I guess I very passively collect NCT's Japanese releases, am I? I don't know, I only have one release of theirs that's Japanese, and that's because it was a gift, so I wouldn't even count that really. Oops, wrong one. I gotta fix that light for some reason. It keeps bothering me. I don't know if it bothers you as a viewer or if you just put this on as background noise. I know I, myself, listen to other collectors' videos as background noise, even if I don't stand the groups that they collect, just because the office be boring and I just want to listen to someone else's voice who's not a coworker. And that's not even mean, it's just I have an office towards the front of the building and everyone is loud. So yes, here is my full CIX collection. Once again, I'm going to shift my camera once again as well. Hopefully everything is more centered. I'm not really looking at my album as I'm putting this away. I am more looking at my hands and where I'm putting the photo card. But this looks really nice to me. I am kind of meh on the fact that there's like empty space here, but I do think I have some more of these like washi tape fillers that I can shove in there so that I have to look forward to. Maybe I'll get rid of this set, I don't know. I haven't really seen the resale price, and if the resale price is just not all that high, then um, I'm gonna keep them. And next up we have the biggest bulk of my collection today, which is my NCT collection. Let's go! Because I have been uh, trading and buying so aggressively for NCT, I have been putting in these placeholders just so I know where I can actually store these photo cards, just to make this video go a lot smoother for me and you as a viewer. So if I flip through this really quickly, you can see that I do have a bunch of gaps that delineate where my photo cards are supposed to go. And I'm only going to do this for photo cards that I have that are actually coming in and not just cards that I want. If I have a card that I want and I buy it or I find it for a trade, I'm just going to shift everything down for the next video. And so I'm not wasting paper. If I do get something and that's on the way, I'm just going to write it on a tiny slip here and put it in so I can reuse these giant slips in the back because I spent a lot of time cutting those up in a way that makes sense. So let us get started. I have this. Johnny Cherry Bomb. I am actively looking for tails, and I do have a trade secured for it. I don't know when it's coming in. It'll definitely come in after this video, and maybe it'll be part of my next open mail with me video. But I think I'm trading a 17 Vernon photo card for that tail. I don't know if it was a fair trade. But I'm happy to get it because I really, really, really like Tail. Definitely my bias in 127. Why my bias isn't actually Hitchhound, even though he's my overall NCT bias. You know, it just doesn't make sense. I wish I could tell you. So because I do have that coming in, this uh, organization will not stay like this. It's not going to look even remotely the same, but that is an issue for future me. And up next, I have this beautiful Hechan Empathy. I do think I overpaid for it, 
It was probably like 10, 10 maybe, $10. I'm not sure, that entire haul was expensive. So I'm probably going to be downsizing some of my Hechan cards just because I'm not interested in fully completing them. I think I purchased a lot of those cards because I thought that I was getting a good deal. But as of right now, as I'm sitting here putting these away, I don't have much affection for those eras, so I'm also not too interested in keeping them. But that's okay. You live and you learn. Sometimes you really do get caught up in seeing all the deals that people have. And this Teil right here, my favorite card. Favorite card of all time. So cute. He has a dog. Uh, people are not trading for this card very much because it's, I guess, highly coveted even amongst the non tail collectors. But it's cute and I have it and it makes me happy. I don't know if this is a Kino or a regular card, but this one's really pretty. I love his hair. I am kind of collecting a random mishmash of errors, so I did tell myself before that I was only going to collect four cards of an era. I had like a whole list, but I think the main one was if I like the music, then if I have a copy of the album, I don't have favorite, but I did just buy photo book version unsealed for the price of shipping, so that is on the way. And I guess when I do my whole album tour video, I can probably go through and let everyone know how I decide which albums I'm going to buy and collect and which ones I won't. Here I'm putting away my AO photo cards, which I'm very happy about because I've been looking for these two Hechans forever and I think I bought one and then traded for another, which to me makes me very happy. Up next we have my new divider. So this is from my friend's gift to me, which was their, I think, 2021 season's greetings. But I have Teo for this side to show that this is the 127 side and Hechan for this side, which shows that this is the dream side. Yes, Hechan is in both, but I guess because he's younger, I will associate him with dream more. And here, I don't remember if this is part of my mail unboxing video, or if these got corrupted, but these are some genos that I have. Even though this is an empathy card, which is a full group card, I am putting geno with dream because he is a dream member. And I have his crew card as well. I traded some WJS and photo cards for this, which I am quite pleased about. I don't think the... Mm, I don't know if the trader knew the value of WJSN cards. They're not really being traded too often right now. But I think I got very lucky with the trade equivalencies because I traded some last sequence cards for the crew card. And if I remember correctly, people kind of go ham for the crew cards. I don't know if they're out of print or whatnot, but I don't see them being sold for less than like 10 USD. So, I guess I got a good deal. And then here we have my We Go Up cards. I think I purchased these on a Macari bundle. That's right, I did. And that should be part of my unboxing. I think I did mention in my unboxing before that I purchased some albums, some Wee Boom albums that ended up being uh, ripped up. So my follow-up video to that did get corrupted, but I do want to confirm that yes, I did receive a replacement album from the seller. They didn't admit to whether or not they knew that the albums were essentially quite damaged but they gave me a replacement album so it's fine now I do have an extra reboom that's kind of half complete because it's missing pages but it was a very stressful time for me because I was for some reason convinced that the person wasn't going to actually send me a replacement album because it was through Macari and you had to do that whole rating thing within a couple days of you receiving the album so it was kind of stressful Oh, interesting. Okay, so I do have this little placeholder here, I guess because this delineates that this is the end of my Wee Boom collection. 
And up next, we have my Reload albums. Actually, just kidding. I think it was my Reload album that was missing pages. But it got a replacement, so I think I'm just going to scrapbook the one that has damage. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to be trading any of these away for Hichan. I think I kind of like how varied my collection is. It almost looks like I collect OT7 Dream, which I guess can be true considering my collection for ISTJ. What's interesting is that like ISTJ is by far from my favorite album of theirs, and yet I really went ham with getting their stuff, so I don't know if I want to change that. Like, I don't know if I want to drop some of my ISTJ collection and move towards back collecting older eras. Like, I still think that my favorite era is probably... Hmm. It might be Wee Boom or Reload. I won't be able to tell you because I can't think of the track list right now. But whichever album has... Uh, Oh, I've got, I, for some reason, why am I blanking on my favorite songs? Whichever album... Yeah, I am blanking. I, for, for what it's worth, I'm pretty sure the songs that I'm forgetting are going to rank in my top 10 played on Spotify rap this year. Because I literally listen to them every single day. But it's fine. Not a big deal, maybe I'll put the titles on the video. Actually, you know what? It's bothering me. I'm gonna exit this video for a second and then tell you what songs they are so you know what I'm talking about. BRB. Okay, I'm back. I definitely like uh, writing. Writing, reloading. Okay, so that is the reload album because it has seven days, love again, and a quiet down. So those are definitely my favorite dream, uh, uh, dream songs. Or some of my favorite. I have so many favorites for Dream, honestly. I have these Mumo cards that also came in that were part of that corrupted file. I don't know if I am going to take them out of their sleeves. Actually, yeah, I guess I'm going to take them out of their sleeves. Just because I know sometimes people talk about not knowing whether or not these are um, PVC free. You know, I think it's fine. Like... There's, I've had some of my photo cards for literally over five years and I've never had an issue with them like fusing to the page or them looking less glossy or whatever. Like the only cards that I have an issue with changing their appearance after a while are lenticulars, but that's because that's just the nature of what they are. So that is all of my dream collection so far. And now I am on to ISTJ, my era. So ISTJ was an interesting era for me because ISTJ as an album itself, I think was all right. I do like five out of the nine or 10 tracks, which is pretty okay for K-pop standards. Uh, I definitely like Poison, SOS, Broken Melodies, like we just met, and I am missing another song that I think I liked a lot, but you know what? ISTJ as a title track was not my thing, but Poison and SOS exist, and therefore I can, you know, I can overlook anything. And Broken Mel- I really wish that Broken Melodies was like the official concept and that they had a photo book version of it. Like m most of my non-Dream fans, friends, didn't care for ISTJ, they were like, yeah, typical NCT song that they don't care for. But then for Broken Melodies, they really liked, so I wish Broken Melodies was the title track for real. Honestly, just because the concepts look really beautiful as well. And the song hits home. Also, probably one of my top 10 favorite dream songs. Right now, I am putting away some of my pre-order benefits that I purchased outright. So these 
four over here look a lot like some US exclusives that Dream had. I don't remember if it was the Target or Walmart version, but I definitely purchased these pre-order benefits out of pocket from the site directly just because I love this purple lighting. So I am kind of annoyed that they ended up doing a similar looking photo card set for their US exclusives, US exclusives because I also ended up buying those. But it's all right. I am putting them together on this page instead of like a separate page of all the same looking photo cards because I sort by color for some of my other groups just because I'm wanting to remind myself that these are the Korean pre-order sites that I purchased from. And here we are going to be going through my photo book album collection. So interestingly enough, I think I've mentioned this before. I don't have any Chunla album cards to put away just because I either kept my pulls or just traded for Hechan. Chunla's photo cards for this era were all right. I wasn't too interested in collecting his photo book cards and I ended up pulling Mark and Jisung for all of my photo books that I purchased and I thought that that was kind of funny. So I'm just going to be keeping those for the sake of being able to say, hey, I managed to pull a complete set of these two members who I don't collect but will happily continue to collect just for the sake of this album. So I do have a pretty cohesive looking set right here because I have all the right members. I am technically just missing Chun Lo, Dunjun, and Jimin. But I am using, for now, an A5 binder and I don't want to move them to an A4, which is a 9 pocket, just because I think that might look a little wild. So here I have my US exclusives and my pre-order, yeah, my pre-order, not pre-order benefits, my just US exclusives in general down here and then the vending machine photo cards up here. Once again, I pulled this Mark and Jisung, which is why I continued and stayed with this Mark photo card because I actually traded my Geno vending machine for the Mark. I don't know if I regret it yet. I know I can probably trade it back if I really wanted to, but I, I pulled these two, which is why I guess I'm keeping them. And this is my bias line right here. So I definitely needed to have this unit card and then for these, hmm, I do have like a little set up written down somewhere of how I wanted to organize these. These are the Barnes and Noble and Target photo card poster versions. As you can tell, this one is definitely ISTJ. This one, I don't know what concept this is. I don't know if they've like promoted in these outfits at all. I don't know if it's Broken Melodies or whatever, because these are definitely- this is definitely Broken Melodies, and then these are the ISTJ cards. <sighs> so I haven't decided how I'm going to organize these. Maybe have it inside like this by concept? Or by member? I don't know. Either way, let me put these cards away first. I realized that I do have like two cards and two sleeves in this one pocket so I am probably going to go back after this video to consolidate the photo cards into just one sleeve like with my CIX collection but I'm not going to do that on camera just because I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out of stuff to say at that point. Hello. I do have some more cards coming in, I believe, for NCT Dream. I have been buying a lot on Naokyo, so I might do like a little mini Naokyo haul video because I'm running like a mini group order on Instagram, so it's not just going to be me who is spending money. It is me and my group order joiners. So I should have those coming up just because I don't think I have like the exact pages because I do want to be as cohesive as possible when it comes to setting up these pages 
but that's kind of why this one is messy but you know what I think is gonna happen I think I definitely have some Chunla cards coming in so I think I can probably keep them here yes so whenever that haul comes in I will just keep my Chunla cards there because I have the Chunla poster and I think S mini and then their Mumo pre-order benefits you know what? Whatever, I'm just gonna put these in for now so I'm not driving myself crazy with looking at the weird spaces later. I guess I'm doing Hitchhound on that side and then Chunla on this side, even though both Hitchhounds are. Both Hitchhounds and Chunla's are technically already on this side because of the vending machine unit card. And then I'm going to flip back very quickly to the Soundwave page, so then you can see how similar these concepts are. Like, it it could be worse. At least chun -Lo's is pretty different. Hechan's is kind of similar. I think one's just more zoomed in, and he is doing like a different hand sign. But oh well, I guess that's what happens when they have so many events. Did I overestimate how many cards I had? Oh, I know what I did wrong. Okay, so I've been double booking these. I'm supposed to leave like this page blank and then I'm going to start the new set over here. But that's fine. I'm not going to. I'll do it off camera. Oh well, because I'm wondering. I'm like, I have all this figured out. I have everything placed out. I knew exactly where I wanted the photo cards to go, and then I just didn't do it. My own shortcoming as a person. But here, we're going to do a next set. Here I have two of the direct-to-consumer cards. Terribly expensive. Still trying to trade for the Hechan. Not finding it. It's whatever. And then I have this Hechan Poison. I'm not sure if I talked about this card before. By far my favorite card this era. And I kind of wish I had the Hechan direct to, direct to consumer card. It's fine, I'm not going to think about it. Actually, I am going to go back now and change these photo cards just because it's bothering me. So, enjoy a... what's it called? Time lapse.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, whatever you do, don't let people tell you that collecting is not a legit hobby because I spent so much time just reorganizing all those cards and then even all the way back when setting up my pages, uh, brainstorming and writing down the page layout I wanted to do and then cutting out all these slips of paper and then putting them into this collect book or not collect book, this A5 binder the way I wanted it to. So time consuming. Therefore, I'm probably preaching to the choir here because the only people who watch these videos are other collectors. My god. What an incredible time. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Anyways. Anyways. This is finally my ISTJ collection. Mm, I do have some Chunla cards coming in. And after that, I think I'm done, unless I do manage to find a Hechan direct to consumer, and then maybe a Chunla. I think, I mean, I'm hoping to get this, trade this Jamin for a Hechan, and then this Jeno for a Chunla. But if not, I just don't mind keeping the Jeno, because he is my, part of my bias line. But this is everything. Let me flip through my NCT collection for you. Just because it makes me happy. And this collection might change. Uh, this page is fake, by the way. I did not buy all of these cards. I technically bought dupes, but it's okay. Like, I'm not gonna resell them and pass them off as real because they do very much look different. I think the- yes, the real ones are significantly brighter and he's not as zoomed in. But I really like this card. I was not going to be spending the amount of money that people are asking for it. So, I bought fakes just to fill up the page. And they were cheap. I think I got those four for less than like $2. Super happy with my collection. Don't think I'm going to downsize my NCT collection anywhere. I don't even think I'm going to try to trade my non Hechan or Chenlo or Geno photo cards to other members. I don't think I mind having a varied collection like this, even though this is technically my only Ranjun photo card. Even though I do count him as my first bias. He was my concert bias, how about that? I think that's a phrase that people use pretty often. So that is this. I went through my ISTJ collection a lot faster than expected. Wasn't really expecting that. Ooh, why does this look so good? I'm so happy with these Interasia pre-order benefits. Like, they're holographic. Why wouldn't I like them? Just going to fix the lighting here a little. I think I have it as extrovert and then introvert, which is in alphabetical order. Is it? Yes. And then onto my vending machine. I'm not collecting their regular member poster versions. But I do have a Chunla S Mini coming in. So that is everything for today's video. 70 something cards. <sighs> Maybe somewhere down the line, my next video will be me moving my NCT collection into an A4. I hope I don't get to that point, but we really might. So that's everything from me today. I'm really happy with this video. I'm glad I got to put away cards that I've had for two months, which, when you think about it, is not a long time to accumulate that many cards. But I hope today was entertaining for you. I hope you learned a little bit about me and about my habits as a collector, and that you yourself are enjoying your own collecting journey. I will see you next time.